The annual commemoration of World AIDS Day is on December 1st. It's a timely reminder that HIV is still an epidemic despite decades of progress. One area in which we've seen tremendous progress has been in prevention. So here to explain the HIV epidemic today and how medicines can play a role in ending it, Head of Research and Development at Vive Healthcare, Dr. Kimberly Smith. Thanks for joining me, Dr. Smith. Thank you for having me. So first of all, why does HIV continue to be a global health crisis despite 40 years of vast improvements in care? Well, because even though we have made great improvements, not everybody has access to the medicines or has taken advantage of them. And, and we don't talk about HIV in the way that we used to. So people, a lot of people don't believe that it's still an issue. And, and the World AIDS Day is a great opportunity to remind people that HIV is still here. There's 1.2 million people living with HIV in the U.S., 32,000 new cases every year. And so people should be aware that HIV is still there and take every advantage of the opportunities to uh, decrease their likelihood of becoming HIV infected. Yeah, th that's why it's so important that you come on our show and, and talk about these things. But um, who who are we talking to? Like, are the, does this impact certain communities more than others? Does it impact us here in Texas? Do you know? Absolutely. The South actually is where the largest number of cases are coming from. So 52% of the new cases are in the South. And that's even though the South only makes up about 38% of the overall U.S. population. So certainly uh, individuals in, in, in Texas should be aware of HIV. It's primarily sexually transmitted and is making the effort to understand a little bit more about how you can reduce your risk, prevent HIV, uh, is really important. And so major progress has been made in prevention of HIV along with treatment of HIV, and we want people to be aware of it. Yeah, and, and so just to expand on that, you know, it was originally such a taboo subject and people didn't actually want to know a diagnosis because it was sometimes a death sentence, but it's not like that anymore. Can you explain how major advances in HIV medicine makes it a, a livable disease? That's exactly right. So, you know, when we first learned about HIV, it was pretty much uniformly terminal. And then when we got the first medicines for HIV, they were very complicated and you had to take multiple pills a day and they had a lot of side effects. But nowadays we have much better medicines where you can take as little as one pill a day. And even in some cases you can take a, a dose by injection only every two months. Our company, Vive Healthcare, has a medicine that allows you to take treatment every two months. And also we've made tremendous amount of progress in HIV prevention, where you can take as little as one pill every day, or you can take an injection every two months. That injection every two months is called Apertude. And if people want more information on it, it's spelled, you can go to the website and it's spelled A-P-R-E-T-U-D-E.com. And folks should talk to their doctors about what is the best option for them for HIV treatment or HIV prevention. What's going to have to happen to end the HIV AIDS epidemic? Great question. Everybody needs to know their status. And so if you live, if you're positive, then get on treatment because you can live a long, healthy life. It's as long as individuals who aren't living with HIV. Again, if you get on treatment and get your virus undetectable, you also don't transmit to your sexual partners if you're on treatment and get your virus undetectable. And then if you test negative and you might benefit from PrEP, which you can really talk to your doctor about, then getting on HIV prevention, which can be, again, as little as one pill a day or uh, a dose every two months, if you choose something like Apertude, uh, it's important that people know that they can get that information. And so what we want people to do to get to the end of the epidemic, everybody that's living with HIV should be on medicine and suppressed and everybody who's not living with HIV, but who could benefit from PrEP should be on it. Yeah, and I know there are lots of local clinics here in the Houston area that offer that and can hook you up with that. So please reach out and uh, express these concerns to your doctor. Dr. Kimberly Smith, thank you so much for joining us from Vive Healthcare this morning. Thank you for having me.